everyone, this is Edward from Carbide3D with another Carbide Create Pro screencast. In this episode, we're going to go over um, the Pro features, and uh, I'll show you what, what this whole thing's all about. So first thing we want to do, um, as usual, is click the Job Setup button, and you'll see a new drop-down in here. This drop-down is called Model Resolution, and we've got three settings right now, Standard, High, and very high. Those are technical terms, by the way. So depending on what kind of computer you have, you may want to adjust these. Um, the higher the modeling resolution, the better the, the 3D preview is going to be, uh, but it's also going to take more uh, CPU or GPU. So I'm going to set this to very high, and we want to make sure our stock thickness is set here. Uh, so for this example, we'll just use half inch thickness and Z0 set to the top and our origin is the lower left. And this is a huge retract, half of an inch. Uh, I would never use that in real life, probably, unless I had a clamp or something. So we'll change that. And now let's just draw, um, let's just draw a arbitrary shape here and we'll put a couple of features inside of it like this and like this and we'll do one more we'll do this okay so we have our design and this could be something you imported this could be something you drew here we just need something on the canvas. So if we go to our model tab, um, there's three choices up here. You've got shape, texture, and save as PNG. So the first thing you wanna do generally is select the profile of your part, um, which is gonna be this highlighted orange section, and you click shape. So what we wanna do is basically extrude this shape into the thickness that we want it to be. So I'm going to show you this 3D right now. It's extruding it uh, in a flat shape to one inch. And I actually don't want it to be one inch because our material is only half of an inch. So I'm going to change that and I'm just going to rename this component base material. So one of the things here, here we can click apply and you'll see this update in real time. One of the things here is once you, once you save these, like once we click done, uh, we can't, there's a little bit of editing we can do, but we can't edit it like we can edit it now. So make sure that these things are the way you want them to be before you click done. Otherwise you can just simply delete the component and recreate it. So we have our base shape here. I'm gonna hide the 3D. And this is where stuff gets cool. So let's pick this internal feature, this square, and we'll go back to shape and we'll create a new component. So here we'll show 3D to start with. It defaults to a flat shape parameter and it defaults to a height of one. But, okay, so we're gonna call this square shape. So we have these three choices. We have round, angle, or flat. This is flat. This is angle. And this is round. So without limiting the height, um, this max height just doesn't matter. Um, it's not taking this into account unless we were to select one of these. So if we select limit height, click apply, you can see that it basically at one inch, because that's what we have it set to, it stopped making the feature. You can see a flat at the very top. If you don't limit the height, then the parameter, the shape, is going to go into its natural shape depending on these other dimensions, length and width. So that's the round. 
and this one is the angle again. Now, if we wanted the same sort of effect, uh, but we didn't want it to be, you know, five inches tall, we could also do scale height. And we have a half inch thick piece of material. So let's say that we wanted this feature to be just a quarter of an inch taller. We could scale height to a quarter of an inch and it's gonna flatten it out. So you can see here the peak of that pyramid is going to be a quarter of an inch higher than the top of this base material. And the same thing goes for round. It's gonna round that out so the peak of the round is a quarter of an inch higher than the top of the base material. It's probably easiest to see with a flat though. So there we go. That's basically just extruding it up a quarter of an inch. So we'll leave this at angle and uh, we'll click done. You'll notice down here before we click done that we have been using the add feature. So we added to get this base material and then we added again to get this sort of squashed pyramid. So I'm gonna click done, hide 3D and we're back to our 2D design. Here's something else to keep in mind. Once you start creating components, you can't move them. Uh, this will probably be updated in a future version of Carbide Create, but for right now we can't, we can't move the components once you create them. If you do need to move a design element like this circle and there's already a component on it, uh, you can just delete the component and recreate it. So let's do another one. Uh, we'll select this circle and click the shape feature again. And if we click show 3D, again, it defaults to a flat and it's extruded one inch. What I actually wanna do is uh, I wanna do a round and instead of adding it, instead of adding it, I want to subtract it. But first I wanna rename it. So I'm gonna say subtract and apply and now it's cutting that round into the material. You'll see though that the natural shape of it made it so the round would actually cut through the bottom, which is why you see this hole. But we can use the, we could use the limit height and just say, hey, cut it down a quarter of an inch, which would be half the thickness of the material. And it's basically just gonna start that feature and once it gets to a quarter of an inch, it's going to flatten it out on the bottom. So that almost looks like a chamfer. Uh, the other thing you can do is scale height. So we'll scale it to a quarter of an inch and then it's going to sort of flatten out that whole shape so it fits. It's tough to tell in the preview, but that is a dish, uh, almost like a bowl. Actually, you can see it pretty well there. done. So this is what I was saying about editing shapes. You go back into base material, you can change the method here from add, subtract, min, max, multiply, equal. Um, and you can add a base height, but you don't have all of the tweaking that you have in the new component screen where you can limit the height and you can change the angle. So keep that in mind. But like I said, if you if you do need to come back in and recreate a component, um, you can effectively just delete it and recreate it. So I think that's gonna wrap it up for this one. In the next one, we're actually going to go through a couple more of these and then I'm going to show you how to uh, create the tool paths to go with these 3D shapes. See you next time.